Okay, this is a question from Mastering, and this is related to uh, the current chapter 17 on acids and bases uh, problem set. And so here, uh, we're asked to find a volume, and we're given HCl solution. We're given a, a concentration that's 36% HCl by mass. We're given a density of the solution. We're given a volume that we need to make, and we want our solution to have a pH of 1.7. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. And one of the things that I like about it is because this is tying together concepts that we talked about with acids and bases and tying it back to um, the solutions chapter uh, dealing with concentration. So um, let's, we're going to kind of almost work backwards exclusively to do this. So uh, let's make a few observations. The first thing we know is HCl is a strong acid. So that means that our concentration of H plus is going to be equal to the concentration of HCl. So that's going to be helpful. Okay, we also need to make a definition, like we did in the solutions chapter, that 36.0% by mass means 36 grams of HCl per 100 grams of solution. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Now, let's deal with this pH part. Okay, so we know if we need a solution that has a pH of 1.7. So if we do that, we want to have a pH of 1.7. What is our concentration of H plus? All right, well to undo the P scale, 10 to the negative 1.7 power is going to be our concentration of H plus. So let's do that. Let's do 10 to the negative 1.7. So I get 0 0.02. And that's going to be molar H plus. Now, we've already reasoned that that's our concentration of HCl. All right. So now the rest of this is review. So, all right, so let's take this. We have 0 0.02 moles of HCl per liter. Okay. We want to make 4.8 liters. Okay, so that tells us how many moles of HCl we're going to need. Okay, well, I got grams and stuff, so why don't I go to grams? So using the periodic table, one mole of HCl, I'm going to use 36.46. Okay, now, uh, I've got grams of HCl, but I'm trying to get to concentrated solution. Okay, so let's deal with this. There are 36 grams of HCl in 100 grams of the solution. So remember, when you're doing these concentrations, you have to make sure you're differentiating solute, solvent, and solution. So those definitions are still important. Okay, but we don't want grams of the solution. We want volume. So now let's plug in our density here. And the density tells us that 1.179 grams of solution per one milliliter of solution. And if it makes you feel better to say concentrated solution, then that's fine. Okay. So let's, I'm gonna scoot this up so hopefully you can see me put this in the calculator. Okay, so 0.02 times 4.8, 36.46, times 100, divided by 36, divided by 1.179. So we should get somewhere around 8.2 or 8.25. I think 
um, yeah, I think 8.25. Why not? There we go. Oh, it says two significant figures. Sorry, I lied. 8.2. Don't round up to there. So don't, don't round and round. Uh, so 8.2. Two significant figures. Got it.